good morning everyone so this is rishali and welcome to csn it tutorials by rishali so in last session we learn about introduction examples of machine learning and we also learn about training and testing data sets so i have mentioned the link of that videos in below description box so in this session we learn we learn about the types of learning this is the next point in the, your first unit so let's see which types of learning are there so following points are covered in this uh, session that is types of learning introduction of supervised learning then working of supervised learning algorithm steps of supervised learning algorithm then there are some types of supervised learning the there are types their advantages and disadvantages and differences between their types so let's see one by one okay so the first type is types of learning the first point is types of learning so in machine learning there are basically three types of learning that is supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning in this session we will learn about the first type that is supervised learning so what is mean by supervised learning see supervised learning is a first type of machine learning which machine are trained by using some labeled data means we will pass as a input to the particular machine and the input is in the format of labeled data for example see in this diagram here suppose there are two types uh, there is the types of input okay which input include labeled data and their image for example see here this is circle and the label is circle this is the image of rectangle and the label is rectangle means we will pass the uh, input to the machine that is labeled data means we will provide the input data as well as correct their output data to the machine so this is a concept of supervised learning algorithm so supervised learning algorithm to find out the mapping function okay they map your input variable that is x to their output variable means they map the image of circle the label with the circle so this is called as mapping okay so just remember this thing the concept of supervised learning is we will pass label input data to the machine for training purpose now see here this is just a working of supervised learning algorithm so in supervised learning models are trained by using label data so where the models learn about each type of data see here this is called as label data and these are the labels and this combinedly is called as input so in label data there will be a image of hexagon and their label is hexagon the image is square the label is square okay and there is again another image is triangle and their image label is triangle so we will pass this label data to the machine for the training purpose so machine learn their features their structure and the characteristics of each and every image okay and after that by using testing data set we will test the particular images with the particular machine that particular machine can be trained uh, by properly or not okay so this is a working of supervised learning algorithm now the first step is you need to train the data okay there is a labeled input data set you should pass those data set as a input to the machine right so first thing is you need to train the machine suppose we have a data set that is different types of shapes right that is square rectangle triangle and polygon so in training data set machine can be trained by using their features for example if the given shape has four side and all the sides are equal then it will be labeled as a square again if the given shape has three side then it will be labeled as a triangle and if the given shape has six equal sides then it will be labeled as a hexagon so this is called the training means machine can be trained by using features of those particular images okay and the features is mapped with the particular labels this is called as training data set so first these are the steps of supervised learning algorithm see here first you need to de de determine the types of data set okay whether your data set regarding to the students regarding the shapes of uh, the particular images then fruits images etc so you need to identify what is your particular training data set then you need to collect and gather labeled training data only okay 
because in supervised learning algorithm we will use labeled training data only now your complete data set can be divided into the three parts that is training data testing data set and validation data set okay so we will use suppose 75 percent images for training purpose and for suppose 25 percent images for testing purpose okay now the fourth step is determine the input features of training data set okay means machine can be trained by using some su suitable algorithms like we will use support vector machine decision tree this kind of algorithm for training purpose so machine can be trained by using the features of those images right after that you need to execute the algorithm for the training data set right and after training is completed you need to test different images with the machine suppose you should give the particular square image to the machine then the particular model predict the result that this image is called as square suppose when you pass the circle image to the machine but your model is not trained with the circle image right so it shows you that the particular error will be generated right now suppose you should pass the triangle image to the machine now model predicted that the particular image is called as triangle so this is called as supervised learning algorithm if the particular model generated the accurate result so that can be decided by the accuracy of the model how the particular model predict the correct output which means the model is accurate clear so these are the steps of supervised learning algorithm now there are two types of supervised algorithm one is regression and another is classification so here there is just a simple difference between regression and classification so classification means you need to classify the data either a temperature is cold or hot right so this is called as classification but regression means the value is continuously change for example temperature so temperature is continuously change as per the morning afternoon or evening right so this is called as regression so let's see in detail so the first type of supervised learning algorithm is regression now what is mean by regression so regression algorithm is used if there is a relationship between input variable and output variable okay and it is used for the prediction of continuous and real variable for example weather forecasting temperature right temperature is continuously change now next one is age okay your birth date and age both variables are depend on each other means according to your birth date you should calculate the age right so these things are depend on each other and this the age is continuously change right so this is called as regression then there is a market trends means stock price share price this is also a changing values and that will be depend on the market then salary price right so this is a concept of regression and for calculating the regression we will use different analysis algorithm like linear regression logistic regression support vector decision tree and random forest regression so we will learn all those algorithms in your third unit your third unit is called as regression okay next now the next type of supervised learning algorithm is classification so classification of algorithm is used when output of variable is categorical which means there are only two classes such as yes no male female true false etc so this concept is called as classification and there are different classification analysis algorithm like random forest decision tree logistic regression and support vector machine so we will learn this algorithm in your second unit your second unit is classification okay now see these are the some examples of classification like uh, determining the email is spam or not then outcome can be binary classification or logistic regression then uh, something is half full or not rainfall tomorrow or no rainfall right so these are the examples of classification now in classification there are two types of classifiers are used one is binary classifier and another one is multi class classifier okay so this algorithm which implements the classification on the particular data set okay and that's why they use a classifier so binary classifier means if the particular classification problem has only two possible outcomes that is yes or no means there is only two possible outcomes male or female 
spam or not spam cat or a dog right so this is called at that time uh, this data can be represented by using binary classifier okay and multi class classifier means if the classification problem has more than two outcomes which is called as multi class classifier for example types of music types of crops mean there are multiple uh, types are there right so that can be denoted by using multi class classifier now the advantages and disadvantages of supervised learning algorithm so with the help of supervised learning algorithm we will predict the particular output okay on the basis of your experience means in supervised learning algorithm we will pass labeled input data that's why we will predict the correct output that will be match with the particular label so this is the advantage of supervised learning algorithm now uh, in supervised learning algorithm we will solve also some real world problems like fraud detection spam filtering etc now the disadvantages of supervised learning algorithms are uh, this model is not suitable for handling the complex task if the particular data set labels are not given okay at that time supervised learning algorithm is not used it required only label data and supervised algorithm cannot predict the correct output if the test data is different from the training data set means suppose you should train the machine by using apple images okay and for testing purpose you should use mango images so at that time it cannot generate the correct output okay it can't, it can't predict the correct output so this is the disadvantages of supervised learning algorithm and sometimes training required lots of computation time for supervised learning algorithm it must to first follow training phase okay after that follow the testing phase so sometime it required the time then we need to enough knowledge about class of objects means uh, for supervised learning algorithm we need to require the particular classes of objects means for example the particular image of fruits and their labels okay we have the approximate knowledge of each and every terms so these are the disadvantages of supervised learning algorithm now see here this is just the difference between regression versus classification this is just diagrammatical representation in classification we will classify the data okay this is in middle range this is called as classifier and in regression the value is continuously change okay and that will be depend on input and output variable so regression means system attempt to predict the value input based on past data that is real number continuous number okay for example temperature for tomorrow etc but in classification prediction are made by classifying them into the different categories like types of cancer right and whether it is cancer yes or no so we will categorize the data so this is the difference between regression and classification so hope so you should understand about the concept of supervised learning algorithm so if you like my videos please subscribe the channel thank you keep practicing